Super Mario 3D World playthrough, so let's get on going with World 2. So if you're ever looking to 100% this game, you can always come on over to the map and then tap that uh, list there and it'll tell you the progress. As you can see, in World 1 I did miss two flagpoles, so I would need to go back and complete them if I wanted to finish this world, but I don't really need to. If you're wondering what's inside there, I believe it is a toad house. Yes. So, some of them give you that stuff, and some of them give you one thing. <laughs> it's kind of just luck, depending on if the small or the big one gives you better items than the other. So I'll be doing my best to avoid those toad houses, just because I don't really feel the need to uh, use them. Here we are, World 2, which is also a desert. So here's the first cir uh, circus that gives you a stamp, I believe, yes. So there's a stamp for almost every level, so that can give you, that stamp page can give you a pretty good idea how many levels there are in this game. <laughs> Quite a few. Alright, let's do Conkdor Cannon. Wait, Canyon, okay. <laughs> and I've never played as Toad, so let's see what Toad can do. I don't actually know what his ability is. Does he just move faster or something? I don't know. So these ostrich things are kind of a nuisance. They are not going to be very fun, but oh well. Star number one. Bees! Man, I hate those bees. Alright, is there anything up here? Um, yep, yeah, but I think I'll get up there on my own anyway. Come on, stop getting attached to the wall, Toad! I think of all the Mario characters, Toad is probably my least favorite. Ah yes, nothing in here but a bunch of coins. This, coin, this game is pretty big on coins, not as big as uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2 on the DS, but still pretty big. <laughs> <There's a coughs> wow. Anyway, there's a couple of levels that are completely coin based, and those are actually really fun. Like there's a train that has all these coins. Oh. That one's great. So I have a feeling I missed something, but I guess I'll find out. Get off the tree, Toad! Man. Okay, I don't think there's anything there. Star. I guess I'll use it then. Oh! <laughs> well, I tried. That was disappointing. Good. I wanted another one anyway. I don't know how they can smash their face into something like concrete or stone. I guess this might not be concrete. Come on, ostrich. Ouch. That could have gone better. Still? Oh, there's a star here, isn't there? I think it's in this one. Yes. Okay. Oh, 
Ah yes, the coin box returns. And a lot of extra time. I guess there's nothing there. Sticker! Okay. I guess a stamp. And this toad. Ah yes, the captain of the toad brigade, at least that's what he was in Super Mario Galaxy. I'm assuming he's the same role. Now, because I have a cat suit, I'm not going to do a crazy jump to get to the top of the flagpole. I'll just climb to the top of it. That is kind of weird how all the characters tend to meow. <laughs> So Miiverse is... Pretty, it's, like, the way that Nintendo has been integrating in the games, is, in their recent games anyway, has been pretty cool, but... The ghosts, I find, are more annoying than useful, because... I don't know, they're just annoying to follow. And they show up, and sometimes they give you an item, but... I don't know, I mean... When you beat a level enough times, or I think maybe if you beat it quick enough, you get to see the ghosts that can show up inside that level, and the ghosts are obviously other players that have recorded their own uh, playthrough, and everything gets recorded automatically. Tap it, come on. So it's, it's interesting using ghosts, but it's not as, you know, useful as I would like. It's not nearly as bad as the ghosts were in Super Mario, uh, oh no, what am I saying, in Mario Kart. <laughs> like Mario Kart DS or Double Dash or whatever, anything that has the developer ghosts in it, those are, man, those are annoying. Oops, great. This thing is very annoying. And it's just annoying having to use the touch screen because uh, it's just annoying having to play and tap the touch screen at the same time. I mean, crap, crap, dang it! Really, did I just do that? Okay, let's start over then. So you have to use A to jump, and if you're right-handed, you have to keep switching from jumping to. Uh, tapping, and if you're left-handed, I can't even imagine how annoying that would be, because you have to keep switching from moving to attacking. But then again, if you're not playing on the gamepad, you may not actually have to tap anything. So this is kind of cool with all these um, things, you can just blow on them. I can't remember the name of them. Hmm, I don't know. And then, of course, all the mini Goombas get tossed around. <sighs> Although, I don't know if I like the idea of blowing on the Wii U gamepad because then you get all this dust on it and. Eh, it's kinda weird. I mean, you blow toward the microphone, but. Come on, air moves everything, so it kind of goes all over. It's mainly just dust, though. No, I don't want that. I want the cat suit. So if I did have to make a recommendation, it would be always have at least one cat suit. I don't know where the sticker is in this place. And that way you can make it to the end of the flagpole at the end of the level, and you don't have to worry about it later. So that was really one of the bigger problems, I think, of... Okay, I missed something. I missed two things, actually. And I know they're like... <sighs> down here. Uh, 
Okay, there's a star, but I missed the stamp. I wonder where that is. Oops. Hmm. Oh well. So for example, the correct way to get this one would be to tap on those and then, like, long jump to the top. Or turn into a cat suit. There you go. Kind of similar to Super Mario 3D Land, how the Tanuki suit was very useful because you could always kind of glide around and make to the top of the flagpole that way. And if you ever wanted Tanuki suits in that game, you would just do the first level. Well, it's pretty much the same thing in this game. If you ever want cat suits, you just do the first level of the game and you can get two cat suits. Okay, I can't remember what's in this pipe. Okay, it's Oak House. There are also some hidden pipes that I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for. You really just have to find, like here, I think. No. Oh wait, that was the that was the circus. There may not be any in this level. Okay, that place is fun. Um Can I fall down there? I don't know. Hmm, I wonder if there's like a secret there then. Oh well. I haven't, there's no mini boss, so that, not yet anyway. What am I at? I'm at 11 minutes. Alright, I'll keep going. Uh, let's do Rolly Hills. I don't think I need the stylus for this level. Alright, let's see. Oh, I need Mario for the sticker. That's also right. Some levels require spe uh, specific characters to get the sticker or the stamp, whatever you want to call it. It's really annoying when it's really far in the level and you get to that button and it's a character you aren't. It's also useful in co-op because you just have whoever's playing as that character step on it. Bird! I really like the birds in these games. It's just, it's just really cool. I don't know why. It's just cool. Okay, there's a second star somewhere here. Let me try to think of it. Go away. I remember getting stuck in this level. Because I couldn't find the second star. Maybe it's not here, because I can't... I'll go check back really quick and see... Whoops. I'm gonna have a horde of enemies following me now. Uh, no. It does not look like it's back here. Okay. First one was over there. Hmm. Maybe it is past. Ah, really? I come on, I blew on them. Maybe it's not here. Oh, I remember now. Come on. I remember. Please be a mushroom or something, thank you. I wish it was a cat suit though. Okay, so the first one, actually this is the third one I think. I'm gonna need a cat suit for this one. I Here, I think. No, it's in that pipe. I'm trying to remember where this final one is. I know where this one that I couldn't find is. Okay, it's in here. Alright. 
Okay, so that's the second. Now the third is in a very weird spot that you may not think to check, which I actually found by accident. Actually, my brother found it by accident, because <laughs> it looks like you'd die there, but it's <sighs> Nintendo's tricky because sometimes you think, oh, there's a secret down there, and no, you die, or hey, there's not a secret down there, and you go, and there is a secret. Use that overpowered cat suit to make your way to the top. <sighs> Alright, I think the next is the mini boss Mario without a hat. Yep. So unlike in the 2D Mario games, or I guess the side-scroller Mario games, they save after every level, which is very annoying in the side-scroller Marios. Right, this is why the cat suit is overpowered. Normally you'd have to jump on them all. Alright, so I'm coming on 20 minutes. I think I will end this level, or this video here.